As a passenger, you should have told him, what crime do I commit? She's the driver. Focus on your traffic stop. Did he ask for your name and ID? Did you give it to him? Yeah, you don't got to give him any information as a passenger. Well, I want to tell him to quit ordering people to get where he doesn't feel comfortable. This is private or public property. He's not going to open his cowardly piece of sh mouth and tell me to go someplace where I know I'm allowed to be right now. Please tell him, hey, no, no, just I'm talking. Don't you ever interrupt. Hey, I'm, you're not in the right. Shut the f up and listen. If I need to, I'll if file you, a complaint. That's fine, and I'll arrest if you, you for disorderly conduct. If you ever tell conduct. me that you it's disorderly that? conduct, you dumb I can speak however the f I want, you know, and you can't be a complainant. Stop doing this. You know better. And quit trying to make me try to do back down. He's Shut the f up. Which Shut one? up. He's going in. Put your hands behind your back. What's going on, guys? And today's video was sent to us from Derek at DSPRG. On June 8th, 2024, at approximately 10.30 p.m., he noticed a traffic stop directly outside his home. In Langlade, Wisconsin, he went outside and started filming. He noticed very quickly that these Langlade County Sheriff's deputies were violating the rights of these passengers and drivers. Not only did they demand the driver's ID, they wanted to violate the Fourth Amendment right of the passenger, even though no crime had been articulated or committed. So he not only pulled out his camera, he started letting this driver know their rights. But the Langlade County Sheriff's deputies weren't going to let that go down, because he has a history with them. In fact, almost four years ago, he was arrested. And no surprise here, one of the officers involved in his arrest is no longer with the department. Now, Derek was charged with disorderly conduct. However, we all know officers can't be the complaining party in disorderly conduct. In fact, after Derek was arrested, Derek's roommate told him that the police circled back around to the driver of this car and tried to solicit a disorderly conduct complaint. But the driver and the passenger weren't willing to flip on the guy that just saved them a ton of hassle. Fast forward to the booking center at the sheriff's department. This tenured three-stripe sergeant was on her phone, googling what charges she might be able to press against him when she ultimately stuck him with disorderly conduct. He's currently awaiting his day in court, but he needs the help of we the people to have his back and shine a bright light of accountability on the Langlade County Sheriff's Department in Langlade, Wisconsin. I first covered this video about a month ago, but something interesting has happened since. Since the original unlawful arrest in this video and the amount of media scrutiny and attention the Langlade County Sheriff's Department has gotten, I received a text about a week ago while I was in Battle Creek with Justin Schatz and James Freeman, and that was from a family member of the poster of this original video. That message, he's now being held on a $45,000 cash-only bond for two reasons. Number one, he owned the cops. Number two, he held them accountable. We'll give you more updates as his trial gets underway and as we help him attain his bail. But one thing's for certain, if you don't commit any crimes in Langlade, Wisconsin, they're going to kidnap you and make you pay $50,000 to get out. Let's jump into the video. Dirty cops are all about quid pro quo, and it should be noted that we believe the driver of this vehicle didn't have a license to operate a motor vehicle. However, he was never arrested or cited. In fact, the officers let the driver move his own vehicle almost two blocks away to park it by a church. That doesn't sound right, though, does it? A cop helping a driver violate the law when he has no license to operate a motor vehicle. Well, the law can be put aside when you have a bone to pick with a journalist. So the guy allegedly driving the motor vehicle with no license to do so is actually helped by police and able to drive away. The guy filming the stop and protecting the passenger's rights, he needed to go to jail. Did you want me to move? Yeah, I'd let him know it to you, coward. Hey, hey. No, no, roll your window down. 
As a passenger, you should have told her, what crime do I commit? She's the driver. Focus on your traffic stop. Did he ask for your name and ID? Did you give it to him? Yeah, you don't got to give him any information as a passenger. What did you get pulled over for? Speeding? Speeding or no? Yeah. Just don't answer questions. Well, I want to tell him to quit ordering people to get where he doesn't feel comfortable. This is private or public property. He's not going to open his cowardly piece of mouth and tell me to go someplace where I know I'm allowed to be right now. Please tell him, hey, don't, don't just, I'm talking, don't you ever interrupt. Hey, I, you're not in the right, shut the up and listen. If I need to, I'll if file you, a complaint. That's fine, and I'll arrest if you for If you ever tell me that it's disorderly that? conduct, you dumb I can speak however the f I want, you know, and you can't be a complainant. Stop doing this, you know better. Sniff, do you I smell am... pig? I smell pig right now. You're so cute. Let's let's just go take it. Yeah, you, you're cute too when you would stick up for this piece of s instead of coaching him. He told me, get on my property, you dumb b Don't you ever stick up for such cowardice. That is not worthy of someone that deserves to be being paid. This guy is an absolute pit bull and I love it. Derek doesn't give these cops even one second to breathe. The three of them are no match for him. And they're finding out very quickly that they just barked up the wrong tree. A tree for Derek's sake I hope has no acorns. How dare you be disrespectful? Is your body camera microphone running? Do you have a body cam? You cannot interfere with this trap. This isn't interfering. You're not even here to do anything legitimate. You're here to help this coward and his feelings. I'm in public. Shut the f up and quit trying to make me try to do back down. Shut the f up. Shut up. He's going in. Put your hands behind your back. So for not allowing a cop to break the law and violate a citizen, for protecting the rights of a citizen, and for telling a cop to shut the f up, Derek goes to jail. But this is a super solid case for the Langlade County Sheriffs in Langlade, Wisconsin. They did their homework, and they figured out how to charge him from Google. And a lot of you people are probably shaking your head and looking down at the Langlade County Sheriff's Department for figuring out how to charge him on Google. I think you're wrong. And I think you should give them a break. I'm just surprised they know how to read. Especially that they're able to read English, knowing that Pig Latin is their primary language. Now, the Lang Lake County Sheriff's Department is going to do what every department does. They're going to investigate themselves, and despite a multitude of evidence of wrongdoing, they're going to find that there was no wrongdoing. And then they're going to close their own investigation. Well, we the people can do exactly the same thing. Derek is a First Amendment auditor. So am I. Well, I've opened up an internal investigation, and I've found that Derek has done no wrongdoing. And I'm closing the investigation. But wait, Derek's court case is still open. Funny how that works. They can violate your rights and break the law left and right, investigate themselves, find no wrongdoing, close the case, and that's it. Everyone should feel good about it. But we the people can't do the same thing despite the fact that we the people pay their salary and we the people are their boss. But I guess Langlade's right. I feel much better about it, especially after looking at their Facebook page. They love posting hundreds of pictures 
talking about how good their officers are, how much good work they do for the community, and how much people they help. It's usually the ones that remind you just how good they are that are the very worst. We're good. It reminds me of the shit in the pool story. You and all your friends are swimming around in a pool, and all of a sudden a big piece of turd floats to the surface. Now, before anyone can even address the situation, one random person jumps out of the pool and goes, Wasn't me. You, do you see it? Do you see it? Wasn't me. Didn't come from me. I didn't sh in the pool. Who sh in the pool? You sh in the pool. But we all know it was that guy that sh in the pool. And Langlade County Sheriff's Department in Langlade, Wisconsin, we know what you did. You violated his rights. And you guys most definitely sh in the pool. Check out Derek. His channel link is in the description of this video. Let him know Accountability for All sent you. Subscribe and set the notification bell to always, so that way you'll be updated with all of his updates on this ongoing issue, as he's still currently in court, and I might add, has been provided no discovery. I haven't been in Wisconsin since Kenosha. I think it's time I booked myself a flight. And that's the reason I stopped you today.